Hey, what is going on guys? This is Magnifier Luke, and you guys can call me whatever you want. I'm bringing you guys some more Modern Warfare 3, and this is not a Moab gameplay. Uh, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a break from the Moab, from the Moab gameplays because I got um, a huge video coming up when I hit maybe 150 subscribers. I'm thinking maybe, um, and I also have a Merry Christmas montage, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, that's probably gonna be coming out here soon. Um, uh, probably a couple days before Christmas, so that way it's out. <laughs> but uh, I'm bringing you guys some Team Defender on the map, Arcaden. Uh, really do like Team Defender. It's a lot like Halo, Halo's Oddball. Um, I feel like this would be a very good. I feel like this would be a very, very good uh, MLG game type for black, for uh, MW3 with game battles and everything. Uh, because of how how team oriented it is when you have the flag and everything. So you will see me camping, but that's just because I'm racking up the kills and everything. <laughs> so yeah. Um, what I want to talk about today. I know this isn't like the best gameplay to put behind it, but or whatever, but. It's the only thing that I have. It's the only thing that I have recorded on here, other than Moabs. So, uh, what I want to talk about is how to get a good gameplay. Now, for me, there's three like three principal steps you need to use. Um, and basically, I'm going to give examples with these. So, I mean, you guys don't even you guys can switch over to a different tab and listen to or watch, get on Facebook or something. You guys don't even have to watch this gameplay because it has nothing to do with getting a good gameplay. This is all just me getting points with the flag. But, uh, so basically what the first thing is, is that you want to know your maps, and what I mean by that is, is, like, you have to know all the escape routes on the map, like, you want to know the best ways to be able to move around the map, uh, from corner to corner, you want to be able to ride, you want to ride the walls if you're going to move, if you're on a kill streak, you want to ride a wall, so that way only, they can only kill you from one way, because in this game, uh, when it comes to spawns and everything, the spawns in this game are horrendous, so, uh, the spawns, they're always behind you, and they're on the side of you. So you got you have to make sure that you know the spawns to a point too, like right there. Uh, I I mean I heard that guy, but still. Um, so yeah, you guys got to know the maps and know all the escape routes and everything like that. Also, uh, you have to maneuver around the map wisely. So you have, what I mean by that is move with a purpose. And move with a purpose means don't move unless you're going to a different place that's going to put you an advantage. So say that you're on like a I don't know, like you're two away from your AC-130 on the assault. On the assault strike package, and um, <coughs> and you're on a you're on low ground, right? Say you're on say you're on village, and you're on low ground. And you're in that little creek, and, or you're on the bridge or something, and you want to get to higher ground so you can see over top of things, or you want to get behind a head glitch or something. Just move with a purpose and make sure you get to that point as fast as you can. Move with a purpose. So don't move for no reason if you're on a kill streak. If you want to get to a higher ground. Move there so that way you have the advantage over everybody else, and that way that you always have to jump because you can see them. And having higher ground gives you the advantage. Also, you want to listen to your teammates' callouts, and um, and you want to look at your mini map. Now, based on your mini map, you can do a lot of things. You can see where your where the enemy teams are, obviously. Uh, you can see where your teammates are, and knowing where your teammates are and where you are, that will open up everything especially the spawns because if you know where your if you know where your teammates are and where you're positioned at you can pretty much get you can guarantee that you, you're, you're gonna know where, where they're spawning at so basically with those three with those three principal steps you can pretty much get a good gameplay whenever you want now I'm not saying that you don't like you don't have to be good to do this like you have to be good to get good gameplays and you have to use good guns like here I'm using the ACR silenced so, uh, so yeah, I mean, just basically, if you guys want to try and get good gameplays, try and use those three steps, and I guarantee that you will get better gameplays, just playing smart and everything. So until next time, guys, this has been Magnifier Luke, presenting to you guys the three best ways to get a good gameplay, going 23-5 and five in Team Defender on Arcaden. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.